Salutations wet shavers, Spencer here back for a really exciting shave review today. Today we are going to be reviewing Merchant of Tobacco. This is by Holy Cow and oh, I'm excited to use this. I've used King of Oud once and that was just a killer soap. Absolutely fantastic. I haven't done a review yet so, well I don't think I have, have I? I've used it once, I don't think I recorded it. So we're going to be using it today and it is the slickest soap I've ever used, the best soap base I've ever used. Just absolutely beautiful. I've got two sets all the way from top of the chain. Um, service by top of the chain is absolutely amazing. I put the order through and they said, oh look, we don't normally ship um, alcohol based aftershaves uh, internationally because they're from Canada, top of the chain if you didn't know. Uh, but she said, uh, uh, Carmen or Carmini, uh, she uh, she said, look, I can ship them. It'll take a lot longer, which it did. I think it took top of three months, I think. Uh, but she said it was between two to three months. So it was on the higher end of that. That's all right. That was my risk to take. And boy, am I glad I waited that long. Oh, this stuff is beautiful. If anyone's selling full sets, full sets only, please. <laughs> Uh, let me know because holy shit, not holy cow. Oh, I should have used that instead of saying holy shit. Holy cow, they're amazing. Uh, so we're going to be using that set today. Going to be using MG Pens Synthetic. I did have this up for sale, but JR, if you're watching this, mate, do you think you'd be able to ground out the 30 mil and put the Masetto shaving in it? Do you reckon? I don't know. I think it'll fit. What do you guys reckon? Because I just want this knot and this handle, because I love this handle. It's a beautiful looking handle. Uh, it, it doesn't feel very expensive, but it just looks, it just looks cool, man. Look at that. Looks cool. Uh, it's got the MG Pens logo on the bottom there. It's quite cheapy looking. I wish that had like a turn and shave coin or that darn Rob coin on there. Uh, but that's, uh, you know, whatever. I paid like 50 bucks shipped or 60 bucks shipped or something for this. So I just mainly wanted this handle, eh? Uh, it's a, a, I think it's a Maggot Synthetic. It's not very dense. You can see the sort of, yeah, it, it's not very dense. Not a great knot in my opinion. I don't like it. Um, so yeah, we're going to be using that and going to be using the Supply Razor. I haven't gotten this out in a while so I'm excited to use this it's you know it's whoa, it's my smoother shaver it is my smoother shaver probably not my favorite just because that rock nail just kicks ass man in terms of efficiency and balance it's just perfect um, but smoother shaver would have to go to uh, would have to go to this bad boy seriously it is that good um, didn't work. Every time I've tried loading the mechanism on, on camera, it's been a shocker. There we are. Easy. And watch the arm. I don't want the blade to fall on it. Into the sink. All right, very good. Very good. And that locks down. All nice and easy. It is hot as hell today. So I'm stoked because the aftershave has menthol. Little bit more Oh, it's a completely different menthol than like your fine splashes and stuff like that. It's totally different. Just wet in the face with cold water. Totally different to fine accoutrements with their splash. Their splash is a bigger hit and it comes on quicker, but it doesn't hang around long. This one takes a while to settle in. Uh, it, it took me probably four to five minutes, literally. Like I had finished up my shave, I'd gone and sat down, then all of a sudden it starts pumping in and it stayed there for probably 20 minutes, half an hour. Absolutely beautiful, I loved it. And uh, Chris said that's what the same as Cooler Bar is just about, so by Australian Private Reserve. Very sad that I missed out on that, but it's doing a second bat, so I'm gonna keep my eyes out for that. Uh, let's get cracking. Is that a stray hair? No, it's just long, which is going to piss me off. Anyway, 
Let's get loading. First time I've used a synthetic with holy cow. What did I use the first time? I think it was my Macetto. I think it was. I've got to use the Macetto again because it's still got the center credence in there. And thank you to Manny and Tony Tony for pointing out that my video froze on that video on my first upload. And I know why, because I started uploading it. Sorry, I started processing it in the app. And I went off to gym and then shut the phone off. I didn't turn it off, I just turned the screen off. And when it does that, it fucks up the processing. So that, that's why that happened. Um, that should be enough of a load there, I reckon. Um, so yeah, I've deleted it, reprocessed it, uploaded it, no problem now, so that's good. Let's lather this bad boy up. I've got less than a day's growth on here since my last shave, because I shaved last night a bit later. Yeah, I shaved late last night. Used Soap Commander, their Honey and Patchouli, whichever that is, I can't remember. I don't, it didn't come with a label. Yeah, the knot feels okay. Nah, yeah, yeah. boring. Boring synthetic. <laughs> Sorry guys. I know a lot of people out there are synthetic fans. Just the one that I've got a real affinity with is that uh, Plasson that I have that made it into my top five. Just the, it just feels good. Feels more natural than my other synthetics. They just feel synthetic, fake. Um, yeah, it's completely personal opinion. I know that I'm probably in the minority for it, to be honest. I'm seeing a lot of synthetics in Shave of the Days now. And I understand like the leather that this is building is wicked. Just doesn't feel as good to me. I would happily get rid of all my synthetics before I get rid of one of my top natural hairs. I don't know. Never been massive on them, even with my very first one that I got, the very first one that I had to try, which is great. Tony Forsyth Custom, I'll show you the handle. Oh God. I got it for the looks. It looks killer, doesn't it? Look at that. Black, gold, purple, stunning little brush. But I don't know, it's just something about synthetics I'm not, not sold with. Chris reckons I would be if I tried his uh, Wolf Whiskers, we'll send them over. You won't get them back though. Because especially that elite fan, you, you, you know. You know how much I like that. And you too, mate. <laughs> yeah, I think it's his favorite looking one as well. It's Ply Razor, brand new blade in here. Just great, isn't it? Supply Razor. The Canuck Shaver, Scott, he, he's, a, he's a supply fan now. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to see that on his channel. I'm glad to see more people getting it now because I've never seen the shave of the day before I had it. I'd seen online and reviews for it, but no video reviews, so. Yeah. I think it's a killer razor. Like I said, smooth as shaver. 
The only th um, things that compare it for smoothness for me, probably the Feather AS D2. Uh, what else? The Above the Tie SE1. And then the Rocknell. The Rocknell's got a bit more bite though. In a good way. That's why I prefer it. But if you've got really sensitive skin, then you might want to have a look at the Supply Razor. I see Stephen the Suffolk Shaver is considering buying one. But hopefully that goes through, mate. I think you really like it. It knocks down day's growth easy. Because these blades are so thick, coarseness is not an issue. No matter how coarse your skin is, it's not going to struggle. Holy cow. That, that's beautiful, man. That, that, that feeling after you wipe it off is just beautiful. Like Chris at Another Cut Above said, unmatched. It's in a class of its own. Had a chat with Shree over at Holy Cow. Awesome, awesome dude. Awesome. That's very smooth. Oh, exciting news today. I've been offered some work experience. So, I'm excited about that. Best part is, best part is they're happy to work around my days off too, so. So how much notice do you need? I know my days off this week, but that's probably too early. So how about next week when I get my roster up? I said, anyway, I have Wednesday, Thursday off this week. And they're like, yep, no worries. Come in Wednesday and Thursday. So I'm stoked. Capital Plumbing. Um, so we'll see how they go. They seem like a big commercial business. Well, not big commercial business. But not a small one-man team. They've got company cars and... Factory and And that sort of jazz so that's good Well that didn't feel as comfortable there Don't know why. Feels comfortable there, it just... Now it feels alright, I don't know. Must have been... Bit of, uh... Bit of irritation there. Beautiful. Slickness more than enough to keep going over and going over. Yeah, it's got a more hollow feedback, this, compared to the V1. Performance-wise, exactly the same. 
I feel a slight more bit of the blade, but it doesn't feel any more aggressive. Don't know what it might be, but it doesn't feel considerably more efficient. And I'm not saying that it's like non-dailyable now. It's still easily to da uh, easy to daily. Wow. What a shave that was. Beautiful. All right. I'm gonna dry the face and then put the splash on. I'm gonna try not use the Allen block, but there is a bit of nick there. Don't have a towel. Air dry. <laughs> I'll be back in a sec, guys. And I'm back. Cool. All right. I'm gonna grab the splash. As you can see, unused, filled right to the top. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Let's not get on the alcohol too soon, all right, guys? Especially not with menthol. <laughs> that got a bit more spice or <sighs> something, something going on there. That smells really good. All right. I'm going to get quite a bit of burn from this, I reckon, especially here. Wow, a bit on the cheeks, I'm surprised. I didn't feel it. That supply razor just feels so smooth on the skin. Whew. Nice bit of burn today. Not overwhelming or anything. I can feel men thumb now. That's changed compared to last time I used it. Last time I used it, it took ages for it to come in, but I'm getting it right now. That is a different scent though, and a different bottle colour to be honest. The other one was white, so I'm not sure if they're different formulas or something. Different amount of menthol or different... I don't know. I like the smell of that one. It's quite spicy and more masculine than the soap. The soap is super chocolatey and sweet and... That's really nice. Beautiful. One little weep of there. Oh no, two. Um, nothing real there. Awesome. What a shave, guys. I hope you have a fantastic week. And I hope your weekend was good. I'm really excited for the uh, plumbing work experience. It just means I won't have days off. So the, these little bags here are probably going to get bigger. Um, you know, I get comments like, man, you look like shit. Did you get any sleep? I've never been a big man for sleep, but I've always had these. Like, I, I run off four to five hours of sleep, so that's just normal for me. I've always done that, and I feel fine after four or five hours, but these are permanent. <laughs> They're not going anywhere. You guys take care of yourselves. Most importantly, stay positive and have some amazing shaves. Keep smiling, everyone. Take care.